way back um, home because Corinne is going to be picking me up from my house. So that makes no sense to you because you don't know where I'm going. This weekend I am going away to Chepstow with the girls and Phil. So I'm going away with Chloe, Corinne, Louisa and Phil. Phil and Louisa are married so that's cool. So we're going to Chepstow and we're going to be staying in like a wigwam yurt type of thing which is awesome and we are going to be doing some funky activities like zip wires and a swing thing and some segways which is awesome really looking forward to that because i haven't done anything quite adventurous as that in a long time so i'm going to be pushing myself outside my comfort zone um we're going to go to tinton abbey hopefully watch the rugby and just have a really nice time but um, I'm driving home now and it's snowing. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like three degrees. But yeah, I've just got um, a new album to listen to and it's lush. But again, a lot, it's a lot of it is in Welsh. So I don't really understand what it's being sung about or anything. But some of them are in English, but obviously because it's new, I can't sing along, but it's, so I had a lovely evening again last night. Pizza, cheesecake. <laughs> Hey guys, so we have just arrived. Well, we haven't just arrived. We've been here for a good hour maybe already. And our first port of call was to go and eat some food. So I just had a cream tea. So scone clotted cream jam and a pot of Bill Grey. Yummy yummers. Um, and then we're just about to go to Tintin Abbey, which is this beautiful historic building just behind us which is lush so it's actually picking to snow at the moment it has been all the way down which is cool it won't stick because it's too wet and there's not enough of it really um but yeah that's what we're up to at the moment and i shall try and take you along for the journey <laughs>
Hey guys, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of where we're staying. This is what we're staying in. It's kind of like a yurt. I was, we were calling it a wigwam, but it's definitely more like a yurt and stuff like that. So we are number one and woohoo, here we are. So it's very non-spacious, um, but apparently all these beds sort of like pull out onto the table and then the spare mattresses go on top. So we'll all be sleeping together in an essence and then it's very basic heater storage for clothes and tea and coffee facilities because i can't cope without that a mirror hi and then that's it really Come on, young man. So we're just on our way to the communal bathroom. So this is the first time we've vlogged in a while, so I need to catch you up with life. So um, after my last entry, Louisa and Phil have arrived and we went to the pub for food. And now, and then we, oh yeah, we watched the rugby and then Louisa and Phil arrived and then we went to the pub for food. And then we've come back to the yurt slash wigwam slash teepee. We don't really know what to call it. And um, we played Articulate. Yeah. Articulate. And um, that was fun. And now we're on our way to the communal um, shower slash toilet block. And we're gonna go and clean our teeth and wash our face. There's loads of people like, drunk <laughs> as you can hear um <laughs> we feel like proper oldies because we've all just well i've been drinking and phil's been drinking but all the others are like not doing anything so we're gonna go and wash our faces and then we're gonna have a face mask <laughs> and then tomorrow we're doing something super exciting which i hope i can vlog but i'm scared of dropping my phone so i'm not sure if i'll be able to vlog it but um yeah it's just that's better some light no it's a sunday yeah i know so communal showers <laughs> Communal toilets. <laughs>